Now it's time to get a pressure source to the MAP sensor. You'll need the following. Compression fittings and 8 inch copper tubing, which all comes in this autometer tubing kit. Part number 3224. Hose barb fitting, rubber hose and clamps, and a pipe cutter. We start by properly seating the furl onto the tubing. This will be done for all the compression fittings. Now inserting and assembling the compression fitting onto the manifold, we can bend the tubing to fit the application. I know it's going to look hideous, but it's only meant to get one reading. Back pressure shouldn't change unless you alter your setup. I coiled this copper tubing for three reasons. First, if you leave the tubing in a straight rigid piece, you run the risk of bending the tubing under load. Since the map is mounted to a stationary object, the radiator in this case, and the motor is allowed to move under load, you need to ensure that the tubing is somewhat flexible. This coiled tubing provides that flexible characteristic. Secondly, the exhaust gases will come out of whatever runner you drill and tap in pulses, potentially causing a very erratic reading while logging. You want a smooth signal when you log back pressure, so the length of the tubing is important to act as a buffer. Sure, you could construct a buffer chamber of some sort, but I chose to just coil the tubing to save space. Lastly, the exhaust gases leaving the combustion chamber are around 1400 degrees, being the upper portion of the safe range for a DSM. Copper tubing dissipates heat very well and allows the gases to cool before reaching the MAP sensor. With the MAP sensor finally hooked up, it's time to log the sensor inside of DSM link. Turn the ignition on and connect the software. Click on ECU Config Live, ECU Inputs tab, and select the input that you wired the map into. In this case, it's the EGR temp input. Next, choose the type of sensor installed to that input. We installed a GM 3 bar map sensor, but notice the part number listed. Luckily for you, that's not the same part number I installed. If your sensor is listed, you just save the pin assignment and go about your business. If your sensor is not available, you will select Linear Boost. This function allows you to input your own parameters so that you can run any map sensor. Now save your pin assignments. Start a log to capture and display the sensor. ECM link has a video for this and it'll be in the description. Lend Boost should read zero with the engine off. If it does not, right click Lend Boost and select Lend Boost Preferences. You need to alter the preferences to mimic the sensor you installed. Through research, you can obtain the required information to get you close. Input this info into the preferences and click Apply. If the number is still off, you can alter the altitude inside preferences to get the appropriate reading. This is a screenshot of my final settings. My altitude was adjusted and the map now reads zero. I found that the back pressure was quickly overrunning the three bar map sensor, so I turned the boost down to about 18 pounds. You can see in this screenshot that actual boost was at 17 and a half pounds and the back pressure reading was at 30 pounds. This means that the ratio of back pressure was 1.71 to one at 17 and a half pounds. This information will mold future projects for the car, so until then, happy boosting.